In other news, moments after volleys of Iranian missiles began to batter Iraq's Ain, Ain al-Assad Air Base, U.S. soldiers at the desert facility lost contact with their ultra-powerful and expensive eyes in the sky. At the time the attack was launched at 1.35 a.m. on January 8, the U.S. Army was flying seven unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs over Iraq to monitor bases where U.S.-led coalition forces are deployed. They included MQ. 1C Gray Eagles, advanced surveillance drones that can fly for as long as 27 hours and carry a payload of up to four Hellfire missiles. A U.S. pilot recalled the moment Iranian missiles struck the Iraqi air base of Ayn al-Assad in the Anbar province as he flew a Gray Eagle. Let's listen in. And one of the aircraft had already been up for a pretty long time. It was supposed to land. Uh, Roughly around the time, or right before the time, the, the missiles uh, impacted. Um, so it's getting pretty low on fuel. Uh, so that was our, our first priority to get back. I was to grab that one, uh, just so we could obviously not crash it. But uh, the airfield was shut down, so we did have to land uh, without talking to anybody. That was kind of stressful because uh, we didn't know where anyone was uh, as far as other aircraft go, and we can't really do a whole lot because we're drunk. So um, that part was pretty stressful. Uh, they're pretty expensive. Uh, it's not a, a huge deal, um, but uh, it's our job to, to maintain the safety of the aircraft. Uh, it costs us a lot of money to make them, to maintain them. Uh, it's not like we just go to Walmart and we're buying them. So our shelter filled with dust, uh, just kind of like uh, shot into the shelter. Uh, before that, we, we kind of accepted our fate. Uh, so you ready? My uh, flight partner was like, yeah, I'm ready. So we kind of just waited for it. Um, once the third one hit, we, we expected a fourth one to hit. We thought it was basically done.